So, how would I sum up Ninjago Dragons Rising episodes 9 and 10? I'm going to quickly just sum them up. So, if you haven't checked them out, spoilers ahead. Um, and I'll just give you a rundown of what the content's going to be today. It's going to be random uploads of episodes, um, my own episodes of videos I've made um, prior to this because I pre-record. And tonight I will re-record everything I sort of want to talk about for season 2, part 2. Um, Storylines that uh, may happen secrets um that obviously will happen so in episode nine basically it's to start basically the blood moon ritual um all the ninja are pretty much obsolete after destiny bounty is destroyed again ryu learns how to fly um near and lloyd learn how to do the rising dragon technique which is very interesting um other things that happen that this episode this is not and 10 included um also, you should have clicked off if you're listening. This is all spoilers. Um, episode 9 also has Cole, Zane, and that, um, I can't remember that crazy head girl go on this um, quick adventure. Also in episode 9, um, Lord Roz has another fight with Eren and pretty much tells him he's worthless, um, putting him down. I'm saying he was in that same position too once and he feels bad for Eren because Eren is now on the path of being a ninja, which is obviously failing him. Which is obviously a lot harsh to hear for everyone. Um, pretty much in episode 10, they start the um, the fight. I have to admit, I think what Ninjago Dragon's Rising does best is their fight choreography. Um, just how to have a well-balanced team and fighters. I think also something that I need to make note in this season, especially episodes 5 to 10. Um, during a fight, the ninja do get knocked down pretty bad. So, like, for example, in this fight, um, Kai and Sora get put down after their mechs get, um, basically blasted. Obviously, that's gonna hurt them, because, realistically, when you channel the your elements of power into it, you're channeling your power. You don't really have 100% full control of it, like, when you are not controlling the mech. And I just find that very cool and very interesting that that's a part of what happens. It gets knocked out, um, they can't get up straight away. Obviously, they're going to be a bit injured. Um, just give them a second to get back up. And I, I like this a lot. Now, episode 10. Um, basically, the captives get go get free. Euphrasia runs. Um, the one creature, because of Kai, um, one of the Forbidden Five, do become free. Um, this one looks the same. If I could explain it um, properly... Um, this guy seems to have the, um, you know when the nin- 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 Ninjago Dragons Rising Minifix had the Source Dragon eyes at the back of their face? Um, it looks a lot like Zane's, which is very interesting. Um, uh, that that's interesting. Um, also in episodes 9 and nine and 10, Cole and Zane keep turning big, small, turning into dogs and all that stuff, um, which I found pretty cool. Um, it wasn't that gimmicky. Um, that, I don't know if Zane's staying small forever, um, he turns average size at the end, so I don't know if it's just a plot convenience, um, pretty much, yeah, I, how, what else would I say happens in this episode, um, something happens to, uh, Jordana, um, she gets, um, basically corrupted, full of, um, I would say magic, and Shadowspin, maybe. I don't know if that's all counted as one. Um, yeah, but she doesn't... She seems pretty uneasy by the end of it. Uh, she looks like a crazy man. Um, crazy woman. They also, um, put a spell, um, one of those zapping things that, uh, um, Empress Beatrix had put on Lord Raz. Um, or... Yeah, I think either Lord Raz or some other creatures. Oh, the, no, the dragon, sorry. Um, last season onto the captive that they freed. Also, what happens is Lord Raz's temple um, pretty much gets moved somewhere. Um, something what I would have preferred to happen, this might be a controversial thing, what I would have preferred to happen is maybe some sort of spirit aligning and taking all of them and the ninja to a tournament. Might have looked a lot more cool, but um, I'm very interested to see what comes next. Um, something else I should talk about is now um our new three main characters have a secret to keep. 
um, Ka um, Sora, Wildfire, and Eren. Um, Sora and Wildfire are uh, obviously capable of fighting, but Eren's had a lot of pushback this season. So Sora's, um, to save Neil, um, Eren tried to do objects, but it didn't work. So what, um, Sora pretty much did is used her tech power to help sort of align stuff, um, perfectly so Neil doesn't get captured. Um, I think that's a good thing that what Sora did. Um, Wildfire didn't seem too pleased about it, um, but I think by the end, Wildfire seems to be fine. Um, Kai does get, um, captured. Apparently, this was supposed to be Euphrasia from Lloyd's Vision, um, but I'm glad it's not Euphrasia. I'm glad it's Kai, because it's giving Kai some character development, and you can already tell it's working. Because when he's already in there, he doesn't seem very happy. No, well, he doesn't seem happy. He seems, mm, I'm stuck here for eternity. Bunzel does say that it's going to only be until the next Ripple and Moon Ritual. Um, and that's going to be forever. But Kai gives hope, because I guess he feels hope um, that he'll get out eventually. Um, and I do think by the end of part two, he'll be free. Or well, by sometime part two. Um, anyhow, you got in part two, you get free from that um, stone dragon form, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, um, Wildfire and you know, definitely do feel sad. Um, obviously, me being the sister and Wildfire feeling like Kai is the father mentor, it's just. It's a huge thing to obviously captivate, um, but I do have hope for part two. It will be as epic as this one. I think this was the episode that just nailed Ninjago Dragon's Rising. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you've seen it already. Peace out.